Hi everybody, my name is Mike Zinn. I'm a flight paramedic and an EMS instructor here at Idaho Medical Academy. And today we're gonna to be talking about medication administration and the different routes of medication administration. Okay, so first we're gonna talk about oral administration of medications. And so the most common medication that we give orally is going to be aspirin. So we give four 81 milligram tablets of aspirin at a time. And so what we'll do is we'll grab our bottle of aspirin. We'll open up that bottle. We're gonna dump out four tablets onto our hand. We're gonna give them to our patient and instruct them to chew and swallow that medication. So something that's really important is this patient has to be alert, able to follow commands, have a gag reflex and protect their own airway. So uh, we're gonna give that medication let that work for a while and then uh, reassess our patient. So another medication that we can give orally is gonna be oral glucose gel. And so this is another medication that our patients have to be alert, be able to protect their own airway. Um, so what we'll do is confirm our eight rights of medication administration, get our bottle of glucose, and it does come in different sizes. So be wary of the concentration of medication that you're gonna be giving confirm your dose, and then what we do is we twist off this top of medication, have the patient open up their mouth, and then we'll place this medication in their mouth and then have them swallow that medication. And once again, they have to be alert, conscious, and be able to protect their own airway. Okay, so moving on to sublingual medication administration. The most common medication that we give sublingually is nitroglycerin, so 0.4 milligrams at a time sublingually or under the tongue. And so each pump of this medication gives us one dose of that medication. This also comes in tablet form, and each tablet would be the correct dose of nitroglycerin. And so with nitroglycerin, we would have our patient open up their mouth and then lift up their tongue, and then we're gonna spray that medication under their tongue. And then we're gonna watch for uh, how that medication reacts with that patient afterwards. So the next route of medication administration that we can talk about is IN or intranasal. And so uh, probably the most common medication that we give intranasally is gonna be naloxone or Narcan. And this comes in a couple of different forms, either a preload form just like this, or a single use device such as this. Typically police officers carry these very commonly. And so what they will do is there'll be a medication attached to this uh, device, and then they will press a button and it will spray the full dose of medication into our patient. For what's more commonly carried on an ambulance, it's gonna be a preload syringe, just like this. We're gonna have to attach a nasal atomization device. This will twist on to our syringe we're gonna pop off these two caps. And then we're going to administer, just like an NPA, where when an NPA goes into the nose, it's gonna go straight back, not up. And so what we're gonna do is place this medication straight back towards their nares and their nasal passages and administer that medication quickly. What we wanna do is create a mist of medication, not a stream. So it creates greater surface area for that medication to be absorbed. And so we'll administer our appropriate dose of medication to our patient and then reassess that patient. Moving on to IM or intramuscular medication administration. The most common medication that we, that we give IM is going to be epinephrine. And so this again comes in a few different forms. This is an auto injector pen. Most patients that have an allergy, a strong allergy, are gonna carry an EpiPen on them. And the way that we administer this EpiPen is going to be to pop this blue top off. And then what we're gonna do is expose the site that we're going to inject this in, clean it with an alcohol swab. And then we're going to inject that medication hold for about 10 to 15 seconds and let that medication enter the body. So the two main sites that we will administer IM medication are gonna be in the deltoid or in the side of the leg on the thigh. <laughs> One thing to keep in mind with epinephrine is that it comes in a lot of different concentrations. So you'll have your auto injector pens, but you may also have it come in a bigger 
vial of medication that's called a multi-dose vial. So typically it'll be 30 milligrams of epinephrine and 30 mils of fluid, or what another common concentration you might see is one milligram of epinephrine and one milliliter of medication. So be very careful not only of what you're administering, but what the concentration is of each medication because a lot of different medications come in different concentrations. So really going back to those eight rights of medication administration, checking with your partner to see what medication you're giving, what concentration, and making sure it's the correct medication before you administer medications is very important. So the next route of medication administration is going to be nebulized medication. And so for this instance, we're gonna use a medication typically found in a container just like this. And so what you'll do is you will twist the medication top off, and then you have a nebulizer kit and so what happens is this medication gets hooked up to oxygen. It creates a mist that collects in this duct right here. And then the patient breathes in and out on this mouthpiece to inhale that medication. And so to properly administer this medication, we're going to place the medication into this container, attach our nebulizer, and then hook this nebulizer up to oxygen at six to eight liters per minute. And so this will take probably five to 10 minutes for this medication to get completely used up. Um, and then we will reassess our patient afterwards. So next we're gonna talk about, as an EMT basic, helping out your paramedic partner with administering medications. Now, this next section, you need to be careful that you're acting within your scope of practice. So you're not gonna be able to do this everywhere that you work. But if you are, uh, helping your paramedic partner push a medication can be really helpful, on, especially on a critical call. And so what you're gonna do is typically you're gonna have your medication that's gonna be attached to a vial spike and a syringe of that medication. The paramedic should be the one that's gonna confirm the dose of that medication, so you should never really be drawing up medications to a specific dose. But they may hand you a syringe and ask you to push a medication. Um, so make sure you're acting within your scope of practice, but then what you will do so you'll detach that syringe from that medication vial. We have what's called a lure lock here. And so what will happen is you wanna clean this lure lock off with alcohol and then attach this medication. So what you're gonna do is push down and twist. And so this will all be hooked up to your patient. This IV bag may be hanging or sometimes an IV just has what's called an extension set that's hooked up to your patient and it stops right here, okay? And so what you will do is you will attach that medication to that lure lock and you will push that specified medication into that patient, okay? And then once you're done pushing that medication, you will unhook that medication and then put it right back onto that vial of medication so you don't mix up syringes and you don't mix up medications. So once again, very important that you're acting within your scope of practice. You're not gonna be able to do that everywhere that you work. Um, but this can be really helpful for your paramedic partner. All right, everybody. Thank you for watching the video today on medication administration. Don't forget to check out our YouTube channel, Facebook, Instagram uh, for other videos and content. And be sure to check out our video that we did on pharmacology last week as well. It pairs really well with this video. So you guys have a good day. Bye.